Community meetings at Bloomfield Middle School make our school stronger because we're able to pull everyone together and share a unified message. And so in my approach, uh, we do a lot of action research throughout the year. And so if we see that, hey, our hallways are becoming a place where students are getting in trouble or they're getting hurt because of horseplay, what can we do about that? I like to have conversations with the whole school and say, here's what we're doing and here's why we're changing it. You know, even how we went in the classrooms, we changed that. And so the community meeting allows me to bring everybody together and share one message and, and ensure that everybody hears it. You send that same message out in email and it gets diluted through, you know, teachers having that put on teachers' shoulders to share that message out. Teachers have enough work to do. So the community meeting allows us to come together and, and talk through issues as a school. Um, but it also helps us get stronger because we can celebrate each other. Um, welcome back everyone. Joey Golf isn't here so it's just going to be me and Hunter today. Um, welcome back and yeah. Here we're going to go to an athletic report by Hunter Allison. Um, as a house governor, I'd say community meetings help out the school and students by showing that basically the students have a voice for everything that they want through the house governors. Girls basketball. So we, they have a game today against Marion County, Thursday 8th grade night against Washington County, and Saturday 6th grade tournament. For basketball, Tuesday. As a house governor, how I think our community meeting makes our students stronger is by showing that we're always that everyone knows each other, that the community meeting can bring everyone together, and that anyone can open up in there. I would like to welcome down for character call out Josh Edwards, Alexis Cecil, McKaylin Hill, and Caden Simpson. Give them a round of applause as they come down. So I can focus on working with students. She said she literally saved the day by something that she jumped in, maybe didn't even know how to fully do herself, but tried her best, and it really helped out Miss Newton. So we appreciate you, McKaylin. And Miss Drunk nominated Caden Simpson. And here's this one's unique because Caden's actually been nominated for this before. She said in her email to me, Caden's already been recognized for this, but when he comes into sixth period to collect Chromebooks, he does it without disturbing my classroom at all. Sometimes he's so stealth the kids didn't even realize he was in the room. When I got called down for a character call out, it felt pretty good because um because I got recognized for something that I was doing. To help out. Who wants to write anybody up for anything ever because it's more work on us and we like to have a smooth day where you feel good about yourselves and so do we. So help us with that. It's three same thing with Hardy's three strikes you're out. And teachers are gonna use good discretion, they're gonna use good judgment because we know we're not trying to ding somebody who's going through a rough match. But the reality is we've got to show up to class prepared. I think that the BMS community meetings help the students become stronger. The students that are presenting are learning a lot of leadership skills and public speaking skills. And the students in the audience are, are learning the expectations of what to expect throughout the week and the expectations that the rest of the staff have for them at BMS. Collaborating with teachers on their lessons. I'll ask students, hey, what are you learning and why is it important? And it's always a really good sign when a student can tell me that because it means the teacher's doing a great job and so is the student. And this morning, I want to ask a student to come forward, and this takes so much courage to come up in front of your peers. It takes so much strength that I don't want anything but incredible support for this young lady because she is an amazing young lady in our school. I want to ask Cheyenne B. Rod to come up, and I have a couple questions for her. All right, Cheyenne, so I came in to Ms. Christensen's art class, and you were doing a project um, on, the, on the Worry Doll, and I asked you some questions, and I was blown away at how much how, how much depth you had to tell me. Tell us about this art project and what, what is so significant about the Worry Doll? Where does it originate? The Worry Doll originates from the Guatemala tradition that the Guatemala parents that had children, children were having a lot of trouble, a lot of stress was on their shoulders, like us today, obviously. Diane, I want to present you with the BMS Strong Pen, and I want you to sign our character call out guitar because you showcase character in our school. I appreciate you very much. Mr. Kissel is going to have you sign that. Give Cheyenne another round of applause, please. She is amazing, young lady. All right, as Cheyenne is finishing up. Well, it felt really good to present this in front of the whole school because some of these people may, not, not, may or may not have considered the, like the traditions from other countries to actually help ease worries and stuff like that. 
it, but it pre felt pretty good because I never thought that this day would actually show up to just do something like that, just like present something like that we've made that we've made so far. We've been getting pretty far here. We're going to have uh, Daniel Hagler please come down for a for each. And down on the lake we have canoeing, kayaking, pontooning, and last year, for the first time ever, they allowed swimming in the lake, which is awesome. Do you have to have a life jacket? All of your safety equipment and stuff is supplied. And while you're down there, they, there are these people called camp staff, and both Nicole and I have done this. It's the, like the best thing ever. But bringing community partners into community meetings allows our students to really see what opportunities are outside in the real world um, and bring them in to showcase what those opportunities can be and how they can get involved and really truly helps them find those passions and find things that they're interested in so that as they go out their school careers they can gear towards something and really be a part of something to really ignite their passions. My favorite thing was swimming. Mine was like the, cho Mine was the chocolate factory. <laughs> My favorite part of the community meeting is, is probably a tie. I love celebrating students who showcase character. Um, you know, in our school, everybody belongs. You don't have to earn your way to belong at Bloomfield Middle School. You know, you don't have to be proficient on a test to belong here. Everybody belongs. And I think when students show character, when they show kindness to each other, um, it makes us all better. And so I love celebrating that. And our house governors, they brought in the parade of compliments for teachers. Um, in most schools, teachers report feeling unsupported and, and unappreciated. And so I think it's really, really important that students take time to say thank you to the adults who've dedicated their life to helping them. So it's a tie between character call out and the parade of compliments because everybody deserves to feel valued in our Bloomfield Middle School community, and they are.